I know I'm just going to put on a hat on for the rest of this video, but I just want to make sure my uh, hair actually fits in the hat. I'm not changing my pajamas, though. These, these are staying the same. Anyways, hey everybody, Kain here. Uh, this is part two to the documentary thing, I guess you could call it, of me making the closeters. <laughs> um, so today, I'll be making the double elements, which is ten monsters. So, <laughs> that's going to be fun. I have my assistant Freddy here to help, but I, I he, he doesn't like helping that much. So right off the bat, I'm just going to get everything that I used last episode out of this. I almost forgot about this box. <laughs> and no, I'm not going to use my backpack because there's literally nothing in there other than my lunchbox. And I already used the one thing other than the cheese stick, and I'm not going to use a dirty cheese stick. Well, I don't know if I can make a disc, but... I might be able to, if I want to. So, I'll just get that out and put that over there. <laughs> Maybe this could be like a violin or something, a one-stringed violin. I, I don't know. Okay, good idea. So, this is a Would You Rather game box. So, you can pull out a Would You Rather card. And I can make what it says. So, uh, um, yeah, let's do that. Okay. So, I'll just do some things. Freddy, you're not helping. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask my mom, would you rather the bottom one, because that one's not inappropriate, and then I'll see <laughs> what she says, and then I'll draw that, or it'll be that. <laughs> hey, mom. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I have a question. Would you rather... <laughs> Band. Okay. <laughs> that went. Let's just say not how I expected it to go. And Freddy, stop being fat. Imagine if I just make this thing a maraca. Well, no, I already have Shaka, so nope, no maraca. So for the torch, I could do like it could be like a synth kind of a synth trumpet. Okay, Freddy, you you have a new friend. I could make like a wooden guy. I could just even though this is Tree Rex. I can make like a wooden thing with wooden fists that like pounds its fists together. But I'm not probably only gonna use this one because, well, that one's copyrighted. <laughs> Alright, I got five things plus a cat. So now that I'm looking at the remaining stuff, it e would either make for a horrible design idea or it's already copyrighted. So, like, I am not gonna make a keyboard. Why would I make a hat? Why would I make a poster? And then a bunch of Avengers stuff, and that one thing that's too complicated to draw. And a bungee cord. I don't want to make a bungee cord. So, that being said, I'm making my way over to the plushies. Okay, all of this stuff is, like, copyrighted. I don't know what I should do. Because I'm kind of stuck right now. Because I don't know what to make. And if I made another piece of clothing, it'd be basically the same as clother. So I don't know what to do. I mean, I need five more monsters, and I don't know what to do. But wait, there's more! Remember this portal from... Oh, it's copyrighted. <laughs> so, the, uh, controller? Yeah, that's... I can make that an idea, finally. Alright, now I have six. So even though this is Pokemon stuff, I could redesign a Pokemon in like a different way, it had the same design concept, but it could just be a card, since I have a bunch of Pokemon cards. I kinda spilled it, so I'm just gonna pick up this one. Who's it gonna be? Agron? How am I gonna make a po- or my senior monster based off of Agron? Oh god. I have seven things in my assistance playing with one of them. Oh, okay, I guess he likes it. Oh, that's disgusting, Freddy. Well, since there is a bunch of clothing elements, I could go with one of my shoes. Like, an idea for a shoe. That could be, like... I don't know. A shoe island thing. <laughs> so I decided on these two shoes because, well, gray and green kind of looks cool together. So, uh... 
Yeah. Fre Freddy. You're not supposed to play with that. Okay. It's not in my closet, but it's attached to it. So, uh... Now there's gonna be an orb thing. <laughs> eh, why not? Now that Freddy's gone, I get to draw the characters now that I have all of them. First up, a weird bow thing. So this bow actually makes a sound. So I can sample that instead of having to use a violin. So this design concept is pretty easy. It's literally just a bow and arrow, but now it has an eye. But if you look, if you look at it closer, this is its bottom jaw, this is its top jaw, and that is, well, I don't know, just a string. So here it is. Um, he has teeth now, so it makes it look like not just a bow and arrow with an eye. So, uh, on to the next one. I think we'll do this doorknob. So this thing kind of turned out a little weird. It's got the arms coming out of its, um coming out of the top of its screw. And the bottom screw is kind of like a dress, so I'm just going to call it a girl. Um, so, yeah, let's make the final design. Before I have a food break, um, here is the monster. She has multiple eyes, but only one is usually open. The others are just there um, because, well, she likes them. And I know this doesn't really look like a doorknob, but I can't do much with a doorknob, so this, I just kind of went all out and did this. So, um, yeah. My assistant is back. Freddy, I'm trying to draw and you're getting in my way. Look at that pouch of fat. That is all fat. Okay, I think I'm going to do the wood guy now. Okay, so here's the design. If you look, it kind of resembles. So, like, there's the little lump and then the flat fingers. And there's a lump on both of the, like, thumbs, if you can, it's, my camera will focus, and there's the flat, uh, fingers, so, um, yeah, so I kind of like how this one turned out, it's got, like, little, like, bushes or whatever, like, small, small bushes around its eye, and the orange kind of represents how, like, our skin doesn't match, or my skin doesn't match the wood, so it just has fists on, it just has gloves on that make that sound. So, I'm going to finish in the orange because now that I'm filming, it looks horrible. So, um, yeah, let's get to that. Oh my god, it still looks bad. Okay, I kind of colored outside of the lines, but you know, it's fine. I think next I'll do this torch. So, I kind of forgot to show you guys the um, sketching phase, but uh, here it is. That. Okay. So, these are the four colors. I'm going to color those four colors. The base is just going to be brown. I don't feel like coloring all those different shades of brown, because I really only have two shades of brown. And then there's a little guy holding it up. Alright, so here he is. He's got a little torch, and the different squares make different pitches of a synth trumpet. So, uh, yeah, he he likes it. He likes his torch. I think I'll start making the uh, marching band thing. So, here it is. Um, my camera won't focus, but his body, his torso is the card, he has magical, um, little drumsticks to, it's a snare drum. Uh, he's holding it, and he's got a weird face, and then he's got legs. Here he is, um, he, he kind of looks the same as the design, except now he's colored, so, uh, that's cool. I think now I'll do the shoes. So, these guys are in the shoe, and they're brothers, and they have a rope tied between them. So, uh, yeah. It's kind of hard to see because my camera won't freaking focus, but, um, yeah. So, here they are. They're probably just going to stomp, but, yeah. <laughs> Next up, controller. I don't know how I'm going to make this, but uh, I'll come up with something. Uh, so I forgot to do the, uh, <laughs> um, I forgot to record anything about this guy, so here's just the final design. Of course, my camera won't focus, so there's, there's that since it usually focuses if I zoom in. So, uh, yeah. Three more, and now I'm gonna try to redesign Agron. So here is Agadon. He is a real being, but he's only been captured in drawings. So no one really knows what he looks like. People just see photographs that no one else sees, like scientists, and they get professional artists to draw that for them. So here it is. 
I made the actual card alive, so now it has tiny little pincers that I can walk on. And it's like confused, like, what is that thing on my head? I just realized I filmed and I forgot to color it, so uh, here's that. That's better. Next up, this gigantic disc. So here is the disc. It's gonna play the piano because, well, I don't know what sound a disc could make, and I'm not just gonna give it a mouth because that's weird. So uh, here's the disc piano thing. Um, so lately, I've been making some pretty unoriginal stuff. I mean, I literally, I'm, I'm literally just adding eyes and giving it an extra feature. So it's not very being very good. So in an hour, I'll come back and redesign the keyboard and start working on the elements and names. So, <laughs> it's been like five hours, I forgot to, and I think I'll have to continue tomorrow because it's like 9 my time, uh, 9 p.m., so it'll, the video will probably be out tomorrow. Well, yeah, well, you're seeing it tomorrow. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, it'll be the morning when I make the next clip. I'm aware it's been two days. So, I'm just gonna act like it hasn't been two days, and continue with the keyboard. <laughs> Alright, uh, Freddy's also back. Um, time to start working on this thing. So this one's kinda gonna be like Chica. I'm not gonna sample its sound, and I'm not gonna use the sound on my, um, piano. I'm just gonna do this. It has different pitches, so I mean, it could work. So here it is, its teeth is the keyboard. And it has four arms, this is its two bottom arms, and these are its two side arms. And it has tiny little feet, so its arms hold it up. Or him, up. So, uh, yeah, he's a happy boy. And he's circular. Very circular! Freddy! Freddy, stop! Wh why, are you, why are you obsessed with these paintbrushes? Do you want- Do you want to get tickled? Tickle, tickle, tickle! I don't think he's getting tickled. So, here he is, he's kinda weird. Just to show that he has four arms, I made them a different color uh, than red. So, uh, he is a big boy. He's, like, the biggest one with Namus. Him and Namus are the tallest and biggest. So, that's cool. Now, I get to name them. This is Bozit, because it just kind of makes sense, because, like, bow as in bow and arrow. And it kind of looks like a violin um, bow. And... Zit because hit Zikado. Um, so yeah, this might just look like knob, but it's pronounced knob. So this one is Lefist. This is Torturner. Uh, he I still love how he carries the giant torch. So Torturner is a little little black guy. That's just his torch. Now that I think about that, that's kind of racist, but it's not. This is Wur for Would You Rather. Uh, it doesn't seem like Wur. But it's W Y R. Would you rather? So <laughs> I'm clever. This is shoeless, like um, shoelace. So shoeless. This is Gamar, like gamer. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm not funny at all. This one is Discano. I haven't written it yet, but or I haven't written it yet. But Discano, spelled like that. This is Agaard for Aga card, Agadin card. Yeah. And this is Ferripe for sphere type. Now that I named them, I get to give them elements. So I have a little chart of all of the ten combinations of the double elementals, and I'm just going to go down from there. So colorful stuff, I feel like, should be, um, Lefist, because this is kind of stuffing. It Even though it's, like, not stuffing, it kind of is, because the actual fists are made out of, um, rubber. So I'm just going to count that as stuffing. And then it's like has multiple colors like red, green, teal, orange, brown. So it kind of makes sense. I feel like colorful frozen should be uh, Spheripe. I already forgot his name because it's multiple. It's different, two different colors, and these kind of are like frozen. I guess I could say that now. So uh, cool. I feel like colorful polka dot should be oh crap, knob because it's many shades of blue and a little black, and it's kind of like polka dots, because there's a bunch of ovals for the eyes, so it kind of makes sense, I guess. I know shoelace is a piece of clothing, but I'm saving it for another elemental. I feel like colorful clothing should be, um, Bozit, because 
there's not really anything that I can do about clothing, because there's literally only one piece of clothing. So, um, Bozit is now colorful clothing. Stuff Frozen is going to be were because, well, the colors just kind of match a Frozen theme. And, well, there's not that much things I can do with stuff, so I'll just pretend that drumsticks are stuffed or something like that. Freddy, stop messing with my blood! Oh, you broke it. Descana will be stuffed, uh, polka dot. <laughs> I almost forgot the elements, because the eyebrows kind of look like stuffing or something, just black stuffing, and polka dot because, well, I know this is kind of stupid, but its eyes are kind of like polka dots, because it's two different colors. I don't know. It's dumb, but I don't have anything else that matches as well, so Scano is, uh, uh stuffed polka dot. I keep forgetting the element! I think Gamar will be stuffed clothing because nothing fits it. Other than the other than shoe lice, but I'm keeping that one for a different element. So Gamar is now the stuffed clothing, I think. Yeah, stuffed clothing. Okay, shoe lice will be um, frozen clothing. I just forgot I'm supposed to do frozen polka dot, but this is frozen clothing because these balls. I'm just gonna call them balls of ice. So shoe and lice, ice. I just now realized ice. <gasps> ah! I just. I made. I was clever in the past and I didn't even know I was. So, anyways, this is clothing and then frozen balls of ice. A guard will be the frozen clothing element because, um, the only one left. <laughs> Torture Nerd does. is not frozen. So, um, yeah. So, that means, uh,. Polka dot and clothing is Torchurner. Because, I mean, this is kind of clothing. Because, like, and there's polka dots. This is clothing um, for um, Churner. Yes, it's the tour is added because it has a torch. This is Church. Uh, this is Churner. <laughs> I can't say its name now. But, um, so there's the polka dots, kind of. Even though it's not dots, it's squares. But, I mean,. I'm just now making up the elements, so it's not my fault that I'm gonna go and redesign this thing as polka dots. It didn't really make sense, so let, let me rephrase it. I don't want to redesign this thing with polka dots instead of squares, because it just matches the actual torch that I based it off of. So, yeah, not my fault. Okay, so here are the sounds, and also I forgot to say, yes, if you've been wondering what these are, yes, they are Christmas lights. I like them, they help me sleep at night. Now, enough about the Christmas lights. The first one, Lefis. I have these, and I will punch them together like that. And it'll sound like... Probably can't hear that. Kind of sounds like, uh, Frezzy. So... Uh, that's just a sound sample I use. It's, I use, I know I use the same melody for, uh, Frezzy, but, so it doesn't sound exactly like Frezzy. I'm gonna do the lower, which you can't hear, but, um, those are done. <laughs> just move with this. I have the drawings on the floor, so I know which one I'm talking about. So, next is Furite. You guys know what this sounds like. So that one's pretty easy to figure out uh knob will be claps so so i don't know if you could hear that so that's what can oh gosh so anyways that's knob's sound Next up is Bozit, who makes that lovely pizzicato. That just sounds like a percussion one more time. So it's going to have a little muffled in it. I don't know if you can hear that, so I'll just... So there's um, Bozit. Next is Gamar. Oh, 
I'll just... I can't really hear it that well, but... Here, yeah, I'll, I'll do the recording thing again. I don't want to do another Namus, so I'll just keep it at that. Next is Shoeless. I know I pronounced it Shoeless at one moment. It's Shoeless, kind. Get it right. Uh, I have the actual shoe it's based off of. I'm just holding it down. one's kind of the same, so I'll just, I'll raise the pitch of it, because they're like little munchkins. So that's their sound. And then, Agard, or Agard, however I say it, it's, it can be pronounced multiple ways, um, is going to be a vocal, so. It's going to be in chords, so Agard. Agaard will be in chords on every island to in. So, kind of like that. It's going to be I. Uh, so, like, I'm just going to do it again. I. 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 You get the gist of it. The lots are sampled on my piano, so, um, were, I have to get the right tone to, but, not like that. Like that. Um, the scano will be a normal grand piano. And then, Torturner will be a brass synth, so I have to find that real quick, because it doesn't have a specific tone. Yeah. Like that. So, those are the double elements. Um, that is the end of part two. Part three, coming... I can't be for sure, but maybe in a few days. That's probably what's going to happen. But part three coming in a few days.